Um, <laughs> now, are George Clooney and Elton John right to use their fame to urge people to boycott the Dorchester hotel, hotel chain, which is owned by the Sultan of Brunei? Clooney started the boycott when the country introduced a new law, which means anyone found guilty of homosexuality or adultery can be whipped or stoned to death. Now, I accept that individual governments are entitled to make their own laws, especially when they have the support of the people. But I also believe it's time that despotic, illiberal governments discovered that their actions have consequences. I sincerely hope that when the likes of George Clooney and Elton John urge people not to go to Brunei's luxury hotels around the world, would-be customers take notice. That way, the Sultan might understand that there are a lot of people who disagree with these barbaric policies. I'm all for these celebrities calling out wrongs where they see them. Good one, George. <laughs> OK, of course, my feeling is that it's, bar it's a barbaric law that's about to be brought in. And, yes, of course, we should try and change that. Do I think George Clooney calling on a whole load of rich dudes not to use nine hotels around the world? I think it'll have no effect whatsoever. Do I think there's a bit of virtue signalling on the part of the man who will no doubt one day run for president? Yes, hell yes, I do. Because Clooney is a smart guy. He knows better than most people that Hollywood does a truckload of business with Saudi, whose human rights abuses are every bit as bad, if not worse, than Brunei. He also knows that the, he also has said that he doesn't think this will work, but he said he hopes that, that it would put pressure on the people doing business with the, the banks and the institutions doing business with the Sultan of Brunei. No, it won't, because the Sultan is worth $20 billion. The banks aren't going to lose business over this. And, you know, you might remember, you'll remember, Greg, there was, a, there was a, a ban at the Beverly Hills Hotel four or five years ago when the Sultan brought, first brought in harsher aspects of Sharia law. And um, it came and went. And I, and I think this will too. I think... And I, I, there's, there's a guy, how do you pronounce his name? Bill Maher, Bill Maher in America, the, the, the CNN host. He, he called Clooney a hypocrite. He said this is... And if I can say the he said it's chicken tokenism because he knows it's not going anywhere, but it makes Clooney sound good. Well, it, it, it might make, be, be intended to make Clooney sound good. I happen to think that it's something he believes and what he's done is used his fame to say, look, this isn't acceptable. And that seems to me to be perfectly valid. In a world where people don't, by and large, listen to politicians, they do listen to the likes of Clooney. But, the, but, but he's talking to, he's talking to a, a very small cabal no, of talk... rich people. No, you he's... have to be quite rich to stay in those No, you're hotels, assuming right? that it's only about saying... You're assuming it's about trying to persuade people not to stay at the hotels. It's not about that at all. It's about getting the publicity so that we sit and discuss it here. I we agree. wouldn't be discussing the Sultan of Brunei. And, and how do you I think... think that... Brunei is a monarchy. How are we going to change the I think you're right, Errol, that the boycott of hotels... I mean, I can't speak for you, Greg, but I personally can't no, afford to stay in not. Dorchester. Yes. But <laughs> it's, it has... You know, I think, first of all, it is important to take a stand. And you, if everybody only took a stand based on how much effect it would have, then a lot of the change we've seen wouldn't have happened. Here is a group of people in Ealing, people who probably also can't afford to stay at the Dorchester, mm -hmm. using this to rally momentum around their protest. Have a look at this. In 2019, countries on, th on this planet that are stoning to death their citizens for being homosexual is barbaric. And we're here to tell the Sultan that we know where he lives here in Ealing, we don't want him, that we're here, we're queer, and we're pissed off. No, full disclosure, I, I am a trustee of a charity called The Death Penalty Project, which strategically litigates to abolish the death penalty in countries around the world. I am totally anti the death penalty. I think George Clooney could use some of his celebrity to challenge the more barbaric aspects of state-sponsored execution in America, personally, which has a pretty terrible human rights record when it comes to that. I think it is really important to take a stand. And, you know, it's not so, just about the hotels. Uh, the royal family has excellent relationships with the Sultan of Brunei's family. The Commonwealth, which last week we were discussing how amazing and wonderful a club it is enforcing great standards around okay. the world. Brunei is a member of the Commonwealth. Where, where is this club of shared values when it comes to standing against something so that moves in the completely wrong direction of everyone else Saudi? in the world? Why not take Saudi's money and for we movies? Should, and I've said and that I before agree. on this programme. Uh, uh, there's 72 countries. I think it, the source Stonewall have come up with. There's 72 countries around the world that are still against same-sex relationships and punished for it. Mm. That, to me, is just insane. It's incredible. It's, it's, it's well out of order. It's gone well over beyond the mark. A lot of I mean, those laws were brought it, in by the British Empire and, and, and our imperial Whoever legacies that Affleck. we had Affleck, a direct stop be, role stop in. Stop beating me with a stick. No, right? I'm just reminding okay? you. Piece of, a piece of useful Whoever history. Whoever brought them in, all right, it was brought in ages ago. Okay, 
We're getting rid of them. We've torn those barriers down. And I do agree with you, Greg. We should yeah. be tearing them down against countries that don't apply with those rules in, in, their, in their lifestyles. We shouldn't be doing business with them. I, mm. I, I'm, I'm strong with that as well. I Greg, think it's what wrong. do you think the impact the will be? Bank. Because in, in reality, as we all know, he's a fabulously, ridiculously rich individual. He, it won't bother him if nobody yeah. stays in one of his hotels. Yeah. It actually won't oh. affect his bottom line. So what do you think, it, I, what do you I, hope I'm, it would bring about? Oh, I think it brings about this debate. It brings about he, all sorts of care. publicity. I, I don't think that's true. Right? I, he, I, well, I suspect that they, that, that him and I will be looking at this and be looking at the publicity this is getting all around the world and saying, we don't like this much. But if you're so the, crazed you're prepared to, to kill someone simply because they happen to be gay, do you, I mean, you're not even on this earth, are you? You're not rational. Why would you? Do you no, think so... I mean, we, we have to be careful sometimes because you've only got to go back 40, 50 years and, and we didn't stone people to death, no, we, but it was illegal. Yeah, but you weren't put to death in no way. But no, the, I, it's, it's, the idea that the Sultan is going to go through the receipts at the polo lounge and say, ooh, I only sold four soups a day, it's, it's no, he's he not doesn't going, care. He's not going to... I, I, I doubt whether that's true. I I think people who have businesses, they will, if, if their business uh, results drop, they care, regardless of how much money they got. It's the interesting thing about them. They care. But I don't think that will happen. I think, by and large, the daughter will carry on as it uh, is. Do you actually think... Uh, can I just, can I just ask, Greg, let, let me just ask Greg this. You know, there's been lots of talk about Clooney at some point going for the presidency. Do you not think this is actually just a bid to make him sound like a caring, sharing no, politician? I no, I think this is Clooney saying something that he, he feels strongly about and he's always said things he feels strongly about. Uh, I've got quite a lot of respect for him for the things over the years but he's not, taken he's not aside. upsetting the Saudis, though. I think... No, but he, I he should have expanded that comment to, to every... include everybody that has a beef with, with homosexuality. Well, they're just introducing this, aren't they? But you only have to look at what happened with Khashoggi, the, mur the journalist who was murdered by Saudi, which was horrific. Yeah. Saudi was hugely embarrassed by the reputational damage that caused, even if it hasn't actually... I don't think it's changed anything particularly so far. Every country cares about its standing in the world. And Brunei enjoys excellent relationships with the UK. It wants to be part of the club of Western nations as well. Here's what Penny Morden has said, the International Development Secretary. No one should face the death penalty because of who they love. Brunei's decision is barbaric and the UK stands with the LGBT, LGBT plus community and those who defend their rights. LGBT plus rights are human rights. Now, again, and I totally link this to the conversation about Saudi, I'm always curious to see what will follow from these nice, strong statements from British politicians condemning things. But do we put our money where our mouth is. And this is a moment, I mean, we're not talking about Brexit in this debate, but we are redefining our stance on the global stage. Well, this about is about putting... who we will be in the future. What do we stand for now? Talking about putting where your money, where your mouth is, you don't have enough cash to stay at the Dorchester. Some people do. So let's see what the Dorchester Collection says. And its code emphasises equality, respect and integrity in all areas of our operation and strongly values people and cultural diversity among our guests and employees. Inclusion and diversity remain core beliefs as we do not tolerate any form of of discrimination. Time will tell on this, Greg, won't it, I suppose? Well, I, I suspect if you're the guy who's running the Dorchester, you must be sitting there going, oh, I could have yeah, done yeah. without this, couldn't yeah. I? So, I mean, I don't think we should think that it has no impact. It will have an impact on the business. Does it matter the sound of Brunei? Mm. Yeah, I think you're right. That, that sort of publicity, that sort of demonstration of what is so illiberal, which is such an appalling law, I, really I, I think will, will affect them over time. Oh, I mean, you, you can't just do this and hope that it, everything doesn't but it carries on. But, but this is not the first time there have been uh, protestations ab about what is happening in Brunei. And, and nothing has happened. The, it's a monarchy. There's nothing we can do to change. Of course it's barbaric. Of course no civilised human being would agree with what he's doing. But I don't see a load of rich people in Hollywood actually changing no, that. No, but I isn't don't. that the reason why you have to point it out? that because he's rich, because he doesn't have to change, it has to be pointed out. It has, the public has to know in, lar in large numbers.